Hello my dear students and friends. I hope everyone is fine. Today we get review on cooperative societies, their features, their advantages and disadvantages. How they work. Cooperative societies also known as a consumer cooperative or retail businesses that are owned and operated by their customer or members. These organizations are typically structured as a cooperative which means that all members have an equal say in the decision making process and share in the profit and benefit of the organization. The primary goal of cooperative retail society is to provide high quality products and services to its member. At fair price, members pool their resources and buy products in bulk which allow them to negotiate better prices from supplier. The saving are then passed on to the members in the form of low prices or dividend. Corporate retail societies are often fund found in areas where traditional retail options may be limited. They are specialized in certain goods or products such as organic or locally sourced food or they may offer a wide range of products and services. Some corporate retail societies also provide educational opportunities for their members such as workshop on sustainable living and cooking classes and stuff. Advantages of corporate retail societies Number 1. Ben members benefit Corporate retail societies operate on a not-for-profit not purpose, a basic, their purpose is not to earn profit and are owned and controlled by their members. This means that any profit generated by the businesses are distributed back to the members in the form of dividends or other benefits. Second advantage, lower prices. By pooling resources and negotiating with suppliers, corporate retail societies are often offer products at low prices and then traditional retailers. Community involvement. Cooperatives are often deeply rooted in the communities they serve and members have a strong sense of ownership and responsibility for the business. Every member of the society or the community are a part of that society and definitely they can responsibility will be divided according to them. Next, democratic control. Members of cooperative societies have an equal say in how a business is run, regardless of their financial contribution. It means that every member of the society definitely contribute their decisions or make their saying whatever the benefit for the society. So it means that a democratic, democratic style of management is generally adopted in cooperative society. Every member has equal chance to give their opinion. There is no style of autocratic style that only one member make the decisions. Everyone participate in the scene making. Disadvantages limited resources. Disadvantage are limited resources. Cooperative retail societies may not have the same financial resources as large retailers, which can limit their ability to invest in technology or marketing. Limited selection because, co because cooperative fo focus on meeting the specific need of their members, they may not offer the same range of product or large retailers as large retailers. Limited growth of growth potential. Cooperative retail societies are typically limited uh, to a specific geographical area which can limit their potential for growth and expansion. It means that it is of a specific, specific area not for the whole city or for the country and their branches are not available in everywhere in the country. Potential for Conflicts in in a democratic organizations disagreements among members can arise, which can slow decision making and affect the overall success of the business. 
Overall, cooperative retail societies are a unique and innovative way for consumers to, uh, to band together and create a more equitable and sustainable retail experience for themselves and their communities. I hope so you understand the concept of cooperative retail societies. And thank you very much for coming on my channel and watching the video. Please subscribe my channel for my motivation. Thank you very much.